satellite does to you as an environment when it goes around the planet it's a proscenium arch it turns the planet into a stage it makes you want to be an actor this is no time for hysteria this is no time for panic this is a time for a calm reflection on the political and military implications of this transcendent event. And by the way... Mysteries. My God, it's full of stars. Many men have gone there. Few have returned. I have returned. I don't like you. And by the way, the voice said to me, I want you to tell the people the truth. Not an easy thing to do because the people don't want to know the truth. And I said, you're kidding. What the hell should I know about the truth? 
But the voice said to me, don't worry about the truth. I will put the words in your mouth. And I said, why me? And the voice said, because you're on television, dummy. There's a smart young woman on a light blue screen who comes into my house every night. And she takes all the red, yellow, orange, and green, and she turns. a few hundred feet above a village and he will kill without compunction inflict appalling pain and injury on men women and children i made the run let the bomb go that was my greatest thrill none of these people ever consider what will be the impact or the effect of what they do when they pull that trigger and by the way i feel we must make the h bomb it is my decided opinion that the united states of america should immediately begin the construction of the h bomb all the world knows we Americans are constructive, not destructive. However distasteful this may be to us, there is no choice in the matter. Let us build a bomb. And by the way, let us face without panic the reality of our times, the fact that atom bombs may someday be dropped on our cities. In this view, the fallout casualties, if any, will be seen as those of unidentified soldiers in the service of humanity. Unknown soldiers in a war which has not struck. And then one stupid thing happens.
program in the interest of security and civil defense measures as requested by the United States government. We must be ready every day, all the time, to do the right thing if the atomic bomb explodes. Duck and cover. That's the first thing to do. Duck and cover. First, you duck. And then, you cover. You duck and cover tight. Duck and cover under the table. It's a bomb. Duck and cover. Duck and cover. What seems to be the trouble, soldier? You look a little bit worried. Sir, have you ever been out at one of these shots before? Yes, I've had the opportunity to see a number of the atomic tests. What's it like, Chaplain? First of all, one sees a very, very bright light, followed by a shock wave, and then you hear the sound of the blast, and then it seems as though there's a minor earthquake. And then you look up and you see the uh, fireball as, as it ascends up into the heaven. It's a wonderful sight to behold. We cannot trust our instincts or our natural physical responses to new things. They will destroy us. You are frightened, Doctor? We come on the sleep, John B. My grandfather and me. All nice, all time, we did roam through the dry sea beds and the dinosaur bones. Easy downs of the crappy stones where I feel. Go home, let's 
themselves can now create events that are so much bigger than people, so much bigger than the audience, that it really is a new mythic form. And by the way, I am not an atomic playboy exploding these bombs to satisfy my personal whim. The time is not yet. Let us pray that it never happens. And by the way, because at the bottom of all our terrified souls, we know that democracy is a dying giant, a sick, sick, dying, decaying political concept writhing in its final pain. I don't mean that the United States is finished as a world power. The United States is the richest, the most powerful, the most advanced country in the world, light years ahead of any other country. And I don't mean the communists are going to take over the world because the communists are deader than we are. What is finished? is the idea that this great country is dedicated to the freedom and flourishing of every individual in it. It's the individual that's finished. It's the single, solitary human being that's finished. It's every single one of you out there that's finished. Because this is no longer a nation of independent individuals. It's a nation of some 200 odd million transistorized, deodorized, whiter than white, steel belted bodies, totally unnecessary as human beings and as replaceable as piston rods. Why don't you go live in a communist country then? Did you blow your top on a street corner there? You look pretty well off, sister, to be tearing down the country that gives you freedom of speech. And by the way.
Doctor? The huge vortices of energy created by our media present us with similar possibilities of evasion, of consequences, of destruction. The masterpiece of construction built upon the ruins of the masterpiece of destruction. And by the way, we do this not to worry you, but to uh, frighten you, but really We've got to admit we live in an atomic age. There is an atomic bomb, so we have to be aware of this. Well, I really don't know uh, what to do. How far do you have to be from the blast to live through it? Nothing is inevitable provided we're prepared to pay attention. It's like everything everywhere is going crazy, so we don't go out anymore. We sit in the house, and slowly the world we're living in is getting smaller, and all we say is, please, at least leave us alone in our living rooms. Let me have my toaster and my TV and my steel-belted radios, and I won't say anything. Just leave us alone. Well, I'm not going to leave you alone. And by the way...
frightened doctor. And then one stupid thing happens. We must learn to live in a world where we have the hydrogen bomb and the enemy of freedom has the hydrogen bomb. And by the way... We'll meet again Oh, 